What's up everybody? Welcome to Every Day is a Holiday. Today, the national holiday is National Tree Love Day or Tree Lovers Day or whatever. Um, and here's the deal. Uh, trees, I love. They're very cool. But I really love uh, working with wood. So I'm going to show you guys a couple of my favorite types of wood. Now the first one I have here is a piece of olive wood, which I don't have a ton of experience with, but this specific piece came from my grandparents' house. Um, and I think my dad's just been having it sit around in his backyard uh, for like 10 years or so, and he gave it to me, and I've been cutting it open, and it's really cool. So olive wood is uh, really neat. It's really dense and hard. Um, it's great for like waterproof stuff that you need. Um, another wood that I've been spending a lot of time with recently that I like because of the grain and the way it works is birch. Um, and birch is pretty popular because if you've ever used Ikea furniture, most of it's birch um, or birch plywood or whatever, birch coating. Because, I don't know, I feel like it doesn't show up super well, but it's got a great grain look to it. It's a lightweight, but also very strong. Birch is super cool, which leads me to my next one. Oh, this is birch too. Another one, see? I'm getting them confused because I got them all sitting together. Um, this is hickory. Hickory is cool. It has a really nice grain pattern. Um, the tough part about hickory is it's so stinking hard um, that when sometimes when you're cutting it or using a router or something on it, um, it rips it apart instead of cutting it nicely. So that is a tough one. Um, I'm going to bring you guys inside, but I like to use walnut because it's dark and it has some cool grain pattern to it. Um, but I have a bunch of wood outside of our house that I'm currently trying to sell because I have a bunch of teak that is off of the Queen Mary and um, I have a couple of coasters that I made with it right here. Um, those are the bolt holes that hold it to the deck. And the teak is cool because it's got a little different, um, I don't know, teak's just kind of neat. It has a very distinct smell. Um, the It's dark, like a honey brown maybe kind of color. Um, some of the pieces I have are really dark and some of them are kind of this honey-ish color, but teak is naturally crazy dense and has this oil in it um, that makes it really like impenetrable and what do they say, impervious to like weather. So it's a great wood for outdoor furniture and stuff like that. Um, I've been told that it eats up carbide blades, so I try not to cut a ton of it unless I really know exactly what I'm doing because it'll wear my stuff out. But the last one I'm going to show you guys is this giant piece of ash. And ash is a cool wood. Um, again, it's kind of the same thing. It's a hardwood that's kind of soft, but um, this is a big, a big ash cookie. Um, that's four inches thick right here. And this is our coffee table that I spent some time putting together. Um, I had to patch it a little bit because it cracked and I used teak because I thought it was cool to kind of offset the grain a little bit. But what's neat about wood is fungus and weird stuff gives it these cool designs. So um, this big piece of ash sits in our living room. And I've been told that ash is disappearing around the world. Um, so that at some point it will be extinct um, as it gets infested and fungus and stuff like that one. They got cut down. Um, so I like just kind of having one around. I think it's really cool. So those are my favorite types of wood. Um, it's National Tree Lovers Day. I love it. Um, I really just love the look of grain. Um, I don't, I'm not super into staining them a ton, even though Dina likes to because she likes the darker look. Um, I really just like wood for what it is and a natural look of it. So happy National Tree Day. Um, go enjoy a tree, hug a tree, drive through a tree, tell a tree it's pretty, or uh, make something out of wood. Make something out of a tree. All right. Have a great day.